Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Friday the 12th. Kind of a weekend day here. I kind of work half days on Friday because I'm in the finance part of this uh, finance part of this world over here. Uh, but everyone else has Fridays and Saturdays off, so it's it's a funny vibe uh, over here. Tied one on last night with uh, some of the boys at the office. Feeling a little bit ropey today. Uh, gotta be careful with that. Uh, and it looks like, I don't know what happened, I'm gonna have to report this. A gang of thieves uh, broke into my apartment at some juncture late in the evening last night. Uh, looks like they stole some beer, drank it. I guess one of them was hungry, so they cooked a pizza or something based on the state that my kitchen's in right now. Weird. They say there's no crime in Abu Dhabi, but clearly, uh, I guess there's a rogue gang of thieves running around doing odd things. Anyway, um, let's do this FX rundown here. Not a lot to talk about. We're in wait mode. Um, Euro went up to 90 yesterday. We talked about this being resistance, we did not sell any. Um, didn't really trade much this week, uh, back end of the week so far. I wouldn't fade this now. Um, you know, everyone kind of knows it. The dollar, negative dollar theme, I think, is going to rear its ugly head uh, eventually. Especially if stocks remain buoyant, you don't want to, you don't want to be on the short side of euro dollar. I don't think. Cable middle of the range you're going to see you're going to hear me say this a lot today a lot of stuff in the middle of the range we don't make money in the middle of the range um so we we acknowledge that um gotta have the guns down when you're middle of the range dollar yen top side of the top side of the range but not doing much basically like 40 point range 40 80 we do believe this is going to trade 110 before it turns. Um, we will be sellers up at 110 uh, dollar yen. Dollar Swiss back down to into the range. Nothing to do there either. Euro Swiss waiting for 120. It's only a thousand points away. Um, I don't even really need to go down through all of this too much. You can see everything is just either at the tippity top of risk on, see this Aussie yen chart, tippity top of risk on, Kiwi yen chart, not quite there yet, Kiwi's a little bit lagging. Um, we think the juice is gonna be when this all turns, so we're not really playing up here, we probably will sell Kiwi yen at 79.30 if uh, we look to print that double top. The reason we're talking about all these double tops because Bitcoin, uh, printed also a double top, 58.5, I think 58.100 was the high yesterday. Um, Ethereum is lagging a little bit, but equities also, bang, all-time highs, 39.60, same print yesterday. Um, big, big, throbbing, bullish day. Um, 70 points, tip to toe. Printed the exact double top. This would be a springboard for some stops for sure. We do not uh, recommend getting long up here. Um, best to just be square, let this resolve itself. Um, wait for some sort of capitulatory moment. Uh, and then we, uh, we will jump in there. But a lot of double tops around, double top in Bitcoin, double top in um, yes. Dollars are, we puked that shit through 1500 yesterday, 15 double O, figured all the way down to 77, that's pretty wacky. Um, again, middle of the range, not much to do there. As you can see, guns are down here, not many great trading ideas for the day, uh, which is fine. Tens remain, uh, yield on the tens remain above 150. This can't be good for stocks. I think this is probably going to go to 170, and if it does, stocks are going to get bombed. Um, 
keep an eye on this. This is not turned. Uh, I'll have to see how that looks. But as you can see, not a lot of great ideas here. Gold slap back down. It's down 20 bucks. A lot of shit just trading back into the range. We are not break trading risk on. We are not buying through highs on cross yen. We are not buying through highs on equities. Um, we are not selling through lows on uh, dollar EM. We're just waiting. We're basically waiting for this to turn. We think it is going to turn. Um, but it might hang around here for a few more days, even a few more weeks. What happens if uh, average hourly earnings on non-farms in April uh, show inflationary tendencies? That could be something that really drives this and turns this. I don't know. Um, point is today, uh, we're just watching, patient, uh, saving our bullets, saving our trading, trading energy, and waiting for perfect setups. Don't see any right now, so we just wait. Anyway, good luck out there, people, and I will uh, talk to you on Monday. Ciao.